So this is my second time doing this video because I recorded the whole video without hitting record. All right, so we're gonna do this again because apparently I must have left something out for me to have to re-record the entire video, but that's okay, because here we are. And we are gonna talk about how to use ChatGPT, or as I like to call her, ChatGPT, in order to create a best-selling t-shirt design. So I was just playing around one night on the computer. I was doing something else and I was like, let me just see if i type this in like what would really happen like i've been updating the girl plus god store and adding some new items and all of that stuff and so went on over to chat gpt now mind you when chat gpt first started really popping off and everybody was talking about it i was in seminary and everybody would tell me like well why don't you use chat gpt because i would be stressing out and talk about how many papers i had and how much I had to do. And people would be like, just use ChatGPT. And I'm like, do y'all not know? I go to Emory University, okay? They will know that I am using AI. So your girl was like, every little word, every little thought and idea had to come straight from here. But now that that is done, okay, we are utilizing the chat GPT show, and we are going to talk about how to get a best-selling t-shirt design while also still being authentic to ourselves, okay? Because let me just put this out here. You wanna make sure that you are bringing your authentic self, even when you are using AI or any type of app or situation to help you design or to help you create a business okay a lot of people are using ai right now and so you want to make sure that you are still bringing all of your greatness all of your uniqueness to the table when you are creating what you're creating all right because i want to hear your mouth and be like crystal lee told me to get on chat gpt and somebody else got no 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 i said we're going to use this to help us get our best selling t-shirt design but you have to also think about what it is that you are going to do to be different and stand out in the marketplace okay that's what i said so i said what i said and quote what i said all right so if that is in, of interest to you then make sure you stay tuned my name is crystal lee if we have never met before nice to meet you my channel is all about living your dreams living on purpose starting businesses so if that is of interest to you which hopefully it is I hope that you would subscribe if you get some value out of this content today, all right? I have the t-shirt design concept right here on my phone, so I'm gonna be looking here and reading so that you can hear exactly what ChatGPT said and give you the like steps that I took to get to my new t-shirt design. So the first thing I wanna say that I did was start talking to chat gpt about the customer that i wanted to serve i did not go straight in asking about a t-shirt design i talked about my target customer and that's how i want for you to go in when you start having the conversation with the ai okay talk about who the t-shirt is for talk about what type of person they are what they do for work where they live at talk about your target customer and talk about what you want for them to gain from your t-shirt okay so that was the first thing i did i talked about like this is the type of customer i have this is how old she is this is da 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 by the way i do have a entire t-shirt marketing um workbook for you all about sales and strategy if you are struggling with t-shirt sales if you're trying to figure out how to make t-shirt sales that is perfect for you and it's on sale right now just click the link in the description and you can grab that um it's gonna be great if you are needing to get customers in your shirt asap influencers all that stuff all right so that is your first step what is it and who is it that i am selling to all right so chat gpt took all of that into consideration and she came back and it says t-shirt design concept is live your truth and i said okay she also said creating a best-selling t-shirt design involves blending style with a compelling message 
All right. So again, think about what I said when it comes to who you're actually targeting. What is it that your t-shirt, your company, your brand is saying to them to make them want to buy? I see your comments that are like, I have t-shirts up. I'm selling. I'm not getting any sales though. Or um, I put the website up. Why is nobody coming to buy? Remember, just because you did the work doesn't mean that anybody, number one, knows that your business exists. Or number two, you haven't identified if they even want the products from you. So you have to make sure that you have a sales and marketing strategy in place, which is why I do not want you to skip over the first step, which is making sure that you are talking to ChatGPT or whatever software you are using to say, I want to create this for this person, okay? So it says the live your truth front design. This says the main graphic, okay, is a stylized hand-drawn illustration of a person standing on a mountain peak, arms outstretched towards a sunrise or sunset. This symbolizes empowerment, freedom, and achieving, why am I acting like I can't read, achieving personal goals. So they want somebody on a mountain like this, okay? The text, so they did main graphic and then they have text. Above the graphic, live your below the graphic truth, okay? Then they have a back design, small graphic, a minimalist icon of a compass or a star, representing direction and guidance text below the icon one decision away all right because i also have a challenge that is about like making a decision to change your life all that stuff so i was having this whole conversation with chat gpt and so she took all of this and made it into a design with see the girl plus god just says girl plus god but she wants it to be a graphic something on the top the bottom and then the back okay I'm not doing all that, but this, this, this is still good. It's good to reference, okay? So it says design elements. Choose a clean, modern, sans serif font for the text with a mix of bold and regular ways to create emphasis. So it literally is laying out exactly how it should be. It's even telling you the mock-up description, how that person should look on the mock-up. And then here's when I knew I had to share it with you. When I seen the mock-up example, okay? They show you how to design it. And you can literally screenshot this and send it directly to a graphic designer. You can find somebody on Fiverr and pay a few dollars and send them the design mock-up example. It even gives you additional tips. It says fabric choice. Use high quality soft cotton or a cotton blend for comfort and durability. You already know what I'm gonna say, Bella Canvas. Sizing and fit, offer a range of sizes and consider including both unisex and women's fit options. Because again, I was targeting a woman. Printing method, use screen printing or DTG. That could be Printful or any print on demand company, okay? So they said it, combines a powerful message with a visually appealing design, which could resonate with a broad audience and potentially become a bestseller, okay? And that was some great information. So what I would do if I were you, because you may be new starting off and you never had a shirt or you may have had a shirt and you're like, so what's the right way, the wrong way, da da da. Now, you could absolutely take this information and go straight to Fiverr and say, here, put this on a t-shirt for me. Also, make sure you ask them, can I see three to five different options, please? You wanna see different options so you can see, okay, I like this one, I don't like this one. And then ask your audience, ask your friends, your family, which one of these do you like better? I got five designs, tell me which one stands out to you. And then from there, you can present that to your audience and let them know what is coming up for you. You can also go back to Chad GPT and say, hey, I don't want, if it was me, I don't like pictures on my shirts for the type of brand that I have. So I would say, what would it look like without the picture? Let's just do the wording. And I don't need um, words on the back. That's just me though. So think about that and go play around with it when you in Chat GPT and you know, tweak it, I was gonna say twerk it. <laughs> tweak it so that 
it works for you and the customer that you are targeting and then send that directly to your graphic designer and get something created so that you can see your idea go from your mind. This is where we want to get it out of. We want to get the design out of your mind and then we want to get it somewhere else. So if that's ChatGPT, use ChatGPT to find the best seller for your audience that you want to target. Then take it to a graphic designer and get different options so that you can see how it's going to look. Then I want you to take it back to the people that you initially started off having the conversation about and ask them, do you like this? Do you want this? <laughs> and then if they say yes, then tell them to show them where the money at, okay? Show them, tell them to put their money where they mouth is. Is that the, yeah, put your money where your mouth is, okay? You said you like this, so I made it for you, okay? So I hope that that makes sense. I use ChatGPT a lot now to play around with different designs and different, um, all kind of ideas that I have. So go in there, play around. If you have a t-shirt design idea and you've been stuck, like, I don't know, what do I do? Just play around and see what comes up for you and then work with a graphic designer to bring your idea to life. Remember though, be authentic, be yourself. If something doesn't feel right or you like, mm, I don't know how that's gonna look, just test it out. A lot of you send me messages and you're like, I don't have sales. I tried this before. This don't work. This ain't da da da. Listen, okay? In business, you have to try a lot. Okay, you gotta make some mistakes. You gonna fail sometimes, okay? This is how you gotta learn. So you gotta test things out. You can't know if something works if you don't test it out. But if you try it one time with a design that you thought was good and just put it out there and say, well, now nobody wants to buy it. You can't just give up because you didn't even do what you needed to do to make sure that you had something for your customers, right? You made something for you, and then you want other people to buy it. But I'ma just leave that right there, okay? I love you. If this was helpful, make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what other questions you have so that I can make videos for you. And again, check out the t-shirt brand magic marketing and strategy workbook because it is going to help you to make sales i also have the t-shirt master class and all kind of fun digital products and resources for you and of course this is not actually available so let me not even lie but there's other ones available including our new collection so make sure you check that out on girlplusguide.com i love you guys and i will see you in the next video wishing you so much success and peace and happiness and all that stuff. All right, let me spring it right there. All right, so I'll see you next time.